Hello my art partners, uh, I am Rubaiyat. Today I am here with you to share a vector plant, how to art it. I am going to use Vectinator for this, Apple Tab and Apple Pencil. Now let's get started. Here is a level uh, that uh, I am using reference for snake plant for beginners and here is uh, the smaller one is for uh, color you will see it later on as you see that my uh, opacity is low here because I want to uh, see my art uh, clearly uh, so that I use here a pencil tool and the smoothness is 100% here now let's start our art process <laughs> Uh, now I am going to stop the fill color and going to on the stroke. Uh, I love uh, work with outline first and uh, put all colors after finishing my outlines. Uh, and in Vectinator, the uh, most user friendly thing is nodes. That any kind of shape I can change anytime whenever I want. It's so user friendly and trust me I just... Uh, love with my Vectinate. See the overlapping parts here uh, it's not a problem uh, we are going to use the shape builder tools here uh, with it we can cut the extra parts uh, it's so easy As you know that I use a pencil tool here, uh, there are some extra curvy shapes. Uh, we can use a delete a node tool here so that it will become smoother uh, like as we want. There are some overlapping parts here. We are going to use uh, the shape builder tool again to cut those extra lines uh, this is actually a cleaning our cleaning process of art uh, because when we mm, give uh, some files to our client they need neat and clear files uh, overlapping files uh, after applying colors uh, they will not see that much but for our mm, clear work sometimes uh, you feel that uh, some mistakes uh, are taking too much time then just delete Select that part and just delete and art again. That will um, make your work process so fast. Don't waste your time doing uh, mass, messy thing, uh, fixing.
time to fill the color now I'm going to use eyedropper and using that small picture with full opacity for the exact color that the original plant have that will make my illustration more realistic and beautiful It's time for pot and for pot I'm going to use gradient uh, because of the lighting and for shadow part. I'm going to fill some leaves more darker than other for the shadowing effect. I'm going to put some stripes on uh, here like zigzag, uh, uh, zigzag lines so uh, I'm using the same pen tool uh, all over my work
for the corner side of this uh, plant uh, I'm using um, pen tool again to uh, make the perfect look of this uh, leaves so that it will look more beautiful highlighting part and the uh, shadowing part I'm going to use the blur, uh, blur option here and reduce the opacity to make it realistic Thank you. 